Coming up to the start, Phil Walk and the Budweiser came to the outside here in Heat 1A. He figured he had the speed and the power to overtake the rest of the boats as we look at the starting lineup. Jerry Hale driving the Chaplain's VW Easter Seals. Ken Muscatel sponsored this week by Tweeton's RV Mart. Good start, though, for Steve David in the Freddy's Club. And an even better start for Mike Weber in the Graham Trucking. Three boats strong around the first turn, and it was Weber racing out to the lead down the back stretch. Mike and Laurie Jones, much improved boat, being driven very well by Mike Weber, who did lead much of the first lap. But then, as the boats came down to finish the first lap, it was the Red Rocket, Miss Budweiser, Dave Lilwalk taking the lead. He would not give up. When you see that red boat coming in your mirrors, you've got to think, oh, no. Vilwak cruising later on in Heat 1A and takes the 400 points for his first win of the day. This is the place that Dave's accustomed to being. Didn't turn out that way in Kelowna last week in a couple of heats, including the final. But a very strong showing for Mike Weber in the Graham Trucking coming in second in Heat 1A. And Dr. Ken Muscatel, you ought to look for him all the time, third here in the Tweetons RV Mart. Steve David wound up fourth driving the Freddy's Club. 400 points for the Bud, 300 for Graham Trucking. And we go down to the dock where Steve Montgomery talked with Mike Weber. Mike, a great start. Perfect heat except for a little encroachment. You know when that happened? No, I don't even know what you're talking about, to tell you the truth. News you don't want to hear yet, but the start was perfect. Yeah, that was an 05-liter start. We laid back a little bit and hit it right on. And uh, boat's running good. It almost got away from me once in the back stretch, but now uh, we're running real good. I'm happy.